welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming and watching this video. Today I'm doing my contour routine, my cream contour routine. So here we have the six of my favourite products that I like to use to cream contour. You can pretty much tell what they are. There's the NARS and the Naked Skin from Urban Decay, a couple of collection ones, a couple of MAC ones. They will all be fine. Just pick your favourite. Um, today I am going to go in there with the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is in the shade Fair. It's super light, but I find when I'm cream contouring or trying to do a super highlighted look, I like to go a bit lighter because if you have a, a foundation on that will oxidise and so, you know sometimes turn a bit orangey or a bit more oily throughout the day, then if you use a lighter contour colour, then it will last and be, stay the same. You know, be stay a lighter contour colour. So I'm placing it under my eyes in a funny pattern um, and also in between my forehead trying to make myself look like an eagle. You know the game. Down my nose, on my cupid's bow, down the sides of my nose, on my chin. Then I'm also going to take it on the sides of my um, face onto my jawline. And yep, yeah, I know I got it in my hair. So these are the other products that you can use for your... Um, bronzing or for your contour colours. Um, I chose to go with the MAC stick today. I forget the shade but I'll list it down below. I'm just putting it into my hollows of my cheeks, slightly bigger on the outer edges and then as you can see here I'm taking it into a circle shape under my cheek, um, apples of my cheeks to create that extra cheek look. <laughs> um, down the sides of my nose and underneath my nose also underneath my lip which will help create a fuller lip look and onto my forehead onto my jawline also yep it's happening so that's how you should look you have the contour colors there um, onto your jawline onto your forehead and into the hollows of your cheeks and onto the sides of your nose and through the bottom of your nose. Same on the other side. I like to use a brush to start to work out the colour. First of all, I'm going to work the lighter colours obviously first. You don't want to go into the dark colours and do them and then go on to the lighter colours because you're defeating the object. You will make your light colours dark so always, always go on the lighter highlighted colours first. Take your time, don't worry if it's not blending, don't worry if it looks really light, it will even out. And I'm also, I'm gonna speed through it a little bit, but I'm also gonna be going in with a beauty blender in a little bit to make sure it's extra blended. So any lines that you see, don't worry, I'm not missing them. It's because I know that I'm going back in with a beauty blender in a while to make sure it's completely seamless. So just keep going. On the bigger areas, like under the eyes and on the forehead, there's more product, it will take longer to work out. So just keep going, keep going. Just keep patting away. Don't rub. You will be rubbing the product away, obviously. So just stipple, 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 tap, tap, tap. Um, if you do need to rub, rub, you know, just on the edges to make sure they're seamless. But when you're actually initially tapping it out, tap it out. That's why it's called tapping it out. Here you'll see I'm pointing the brush. I don't like to take it too high up the sides of my nose. It will make your nose look bigger. The contour is there to draw things in and make sure you look like you have hollows. You contour the sides to make your nose look smaller. So taking that highlight right up the sides will make your nose look bigger. So don't do it. Just try and keep it in the areas you've actually initially placed it. Then I'm just going to start patting out the contour colour. This is a little bit harder to work out and obviously the longer you leave it, the harder it is to work out. But like I said, you can do it with your brush, you can do it with your beauty blender, whatever you're going to do. I'm doing both. So any lines you might see, they will be gone soon. I'll be going back in with a beauty blender and you know making sure it's completely seamless in a minute. So just keep going and make sure you're getting it as blended out as you can. So doing it along the jawline there is just going to make sure it makes you look like you have actually have a jawline. So for all of you double chin girls out there who love your chocolate like me, do a bit of under jaw contouring. 
mind my puppy jumping up and down, he wasn't very well, so I had to have him up with me today. So now I'm going in there with my beauty blender. It's a much easier to um, work out the product because it is slightly damp. It will help you to work out that product, especially if you've had it on there for a little while, you know, you're taking your time with blending everything through and it, it just helps it to make look a little bit more seamless. Oh, he's not very well. Bless him. <laughs> so keep going with your blue tip blender until you're happy with how it goes. Um, I did notice I went a little bit too low on my cheek contour, um, but we'll try and fix that in a meal with some baking. So, you know, because I'm a good housewife, I bake. Uh -huh. No, seriously, keep patting it out until you're happy with it, and then you should be looking something like this. So I'm going to go in there with some Collection Loose Sheer Loose Powder. This is actually the only sheer loose powder that I own and it's fine, I don't need to go and buy a high-end one, this does exactly the same job. So I'm just packing it on with my damp beauty sponge um, and just baking that highlight that we've done and putting it under the contour colour obviously on your jawline and your lower cheeks to make it look a little bit sharper. If you can hear anything, my husband's upstairs having a shower and my bedroom is noisy. So I'm just patting it on, I keep patting it on until I feel like I've got enough um, and I'm just going to leave it to sit there and bake for a little while 